Good morning. This is Ramblings of an Undisciplined Mind podcast for Thursday, November 4th. November 4th? No, November 12th, 2015. I don't know where the 4th came from. So today I thought I'd share a little bit, you know, something I've noticed in my writing style that's changed a little bit. That I think is probably a good thing. I guess we'll have to wait for editors and readers, you know, if, if I ever let anybody read this, um, this novel, uh, to, to do it, to see what they think. But, you know, one of the things that's really, um, that I've really focused on sometimes, and I kind of know I've gone overboard on this, is, you know, when I'm doing a scene in a book, on a lot of my earlier books, you know, I see it a certain way. And I want the person who is reading it or who is hearing it, if it's a if it's a patio book, to to see it, you know, the same way I am for the most part. Uh, and so I've gone to a lot of trouble to get kind of very exacting in this is what the room looks like, this is what this looks like, you know, he moved his hands this way, or or whatever. And what I'm finding out with this book is that I'm not so fussed about that this time. Uh, You know, so, so for example, there's been been a couple locales where um, one was, uh, they were going through uh, Ying Lee and Evan, the cops, were going through the uh, the apartment of one of the one of the multiple murders, and uh, Ying Lee goes into the bedroom, and I had a definite idea for where you know how this bedroom's laid out. I mean, but it's not really important. There's a couple of windows that are black, covered in black plastic, because the person in question worked second shift, so she's sleeping during the day. You know, there's a bed, obviously, and a bedside table, and there's a door on one wall that leads into a bathroom. And, you know, I I do have a very specific idea in my brain how that that room looks. Um, But I, I just... I don't know, for some reason, I'm getting the fact that it's really not that important, you know. I can say, you know, oh, it's a bedroom. There's a bed, there's a night tidy table next to the bed. There's a couple windows. They're blacked out. On one wall, there's a door. And also on that wall is a, on kind of the far side of the wall is a, from the door, is a uh, whiteboard. And that's kind of important. For what, for what she's finding when she gets in there. You know, and, you know, and that's about all I went into the description of the, of the room. So I'm, I'm kind of feeling like that's, that's good. I mean, I do do some description. If there's something, you know, that, that the character finds noteworthy. But I don't feel like I have to, uh, like in that same apartment, you know, in one corner is a small galley kitchen. You know, I didn't have to really go not so describing exactly which corner it is in relation to the door and how small is small. Now I've got another apartment uh, that they're going through that's the home of another multiple murderer. And, and that one had a really nice kitchen that, that Ying Lee really liked. Uh, you know, so I went into a little bit more description of that. You know, not so much placement and how things were, but you know, you know the color of cabinets, uh, how big the, the, the stove was, because it was one of those big six burner gas um, you know, professional quality stoves, you know, things of that nature. So I'm finding it rather freeing. You know, maybe I'll need the words that I'm not writing for that, but I feel like I can, it feels freeing in that I don't really have to think about, you know, I want them to see this apartment looking just the way I'm envisioning it. And the reality is, you know, if somebody else is, is thinking of a different layout, that's fine. Especially if they do what I do. I have I have a number of places 
that are places I have been in my life that, that may or may not really have any great import. But they are places that when I am reading a book and I'm envisioning, you know, something, you know, whatever this locale is, I will a lot of times pick you know, one of these places that I've been as the source for that locale. And I'd, it's not just with my books I do that. I do that with other people's books. I just recently read a book that was about a girl it was kind of a wannabe twilight you know a girl who got moved to the small town that was kind of near the wilderness and she falls in with a vampire you know but you know when when stuff is happening at her house the house that I'm imagining is for some reason the house I grew up in not because the layout that was described really matched. I mean, they didn't do too much to describe the layout other than the bedrooms were upstairs. Um, house like Rubin was a ranch. <laughs> but, you know, when talking about, you know, you know, being in the kitchen and where the living room was, I envisioned at least for the lower floor being the house where I, where I grew up. I mean, yeah. That was just what, what came to my mind. So I, I think it's probably good that I've, I've kind of broken through this particular barrier. Um, because i got to imagine I'm not the only person that does that kind of thing. If I don't feel like I've got to describe every single little nuance, then hopefully that means that uh, the reader's imagination can kind of mix with my own and help populate the setting. Uh, a little bit, so yeah, that's what I've uh, that's what I've been doing in my writing. I passed twenty seven thousand words this morning, so I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling the the you know there comes a time where it really begins feeling like a downhill. It's a downhill um, effort, you know. It's it's just kind of rolling. And I can see that, hey, I've got enough story here to, to reach the 50K and, and maybe go a bit beyond it. I, I, I'm not 100% to that yet, but I can, I can see it on the horizon. I can feel it a little bit, and that's cool. I, I think once I get beyond about 35,000 um, I should be in good shape. Certainly, once I get past forty thousand, I'll be I'll be golden at that point, I believe. So, so yeah, things are moving along with the novel. But anyway, I guess that'll be that for today. I'll I'll do a short one. I've done a couple long ones. Let's do a short one for a change. Give your earbuds a break. So, I will be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.